Hello, this is uh, Evangelist Robert L. McKim Sr. Coming to you this evening with some heavy things on my heart and some things that's been going on that's been kind of weird and, and troubling and, and just want to let you guys see what's been going on. First off, I wanted to touch base on is Richard Robertson of the 700 Club. You quoted a Bible verse that was not true. God never said that we are supposed to get rich. Never. Not in, in the translation that you quoted from on the 700 Club the other day. Here is the video of what Richard Robertson had said. Now, that is not what the Bible says. That is not what the Bible says. I preach the truth. Because I am a prophet of the truth. Richard Robertson, you need to get right with God because you're lying. You are right now being a false teacher and doom to false teachers. There's a doom to false teachers believe it or not I don't care the truth is the truth Jesus Christ is the truth the way the truth and the life you just preached a lie here is um, Deuteronomy 8 of the King James Version and scrolling down here to uh, uh, 17 and 18 and though say in thine heart my power and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that giveth the power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he swore unto thy father as it is this day now that is what well what they quoted was from the New Living Translation here is the New King James Version right here Scrolling down here to uh, 17 and 18. Then you say in your heart, which is the Bible that I use, the New King James Version. Then you say in your heart, my power and my might of my hand have granted me wealth. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant with which he swore to your fathers as it is this day now going down here to the New Living Translation which is actually what they quoted from it doesn't say that it, it, it changes to a different uh, word he did all this so that you would never say to yourself, I have achieved this wealth with my own strength and energy. Remember the Lord your God. 
He is the one who gives you power to be successful. Not, you know, it doesn't say uh, to be rich, be successful. They changed that word successful to rich. In order to fulfill the covenant and confirm to your ancestors with an oath. Now what gets me is they left a lot of the scriptures out. And they reworded it to make people think that, oh, if you give, you will be rich. That is not what the Bible has ever, ever, ever said. Get it straight. Stop preaching lies. There's a doom for false teachers. I don't got too much time because my battery's in the red here again. I wanted to touch base on something else that's been going on. I'll show you a quick video here. Hang on, listen to the scanner. <laughs> the community mental health here in Carrollton, Ohio. Strong smell smoke in the building. Right at the present time, there is a power outage going on here in Carrollton. Not sure how many is affected, but it's cold outside. It's not it, as cold as it has been. It's only right at the present time. Uh, 24 degrees outside and uh, well long story short uh, AEP is our electric company and uh, we went online with our MiFi that we have still gonna be able to get on the internet with and it showed Carroll County was in the red for the power outage. I can't get through on my cell phone because I keep getting a uh, busy signal. As you can hear, busy to get a hold of the AEP. So, we don't know really what's going on. The only thing is we know right at the present time we will not have no heat. Unless I go out and fill up my kerosene heater and turn it on for a while. We don't know how long it's going to be off. That's another thing. Because can't find out no information. I do have my scanner hooked up to um, my uh, battery power that I have back up from my radios but when it comes to anything else we don't know what's going on okay that was uh, that was Wednesday when we got back home from a uh, couple appointments then uh, yeah also uh, that was actually last Wednesday. Last Wednesday, uh, a week ago. Then, uh, just this week. Let me show you here. Another quick video. I, just the other day. I turned on my water. And, uh, to do something. And this is what I was getting. I'm not sure what's going on, but our water is coming out like pure dirt. Rust, I mean, it just looks like it's pure dirt. Now it's starting to clear up, but I'm not sure they shut the water off and didn't say anything. And to work on something or what? But man, it is like pure dirt. It's starting to clear up a little bit, but 
I don't know. Maybe our landlord's doing something and didn't uh, tell us. So, yeah. Found out that uh, my landlord's uh, son-in-law shut the water off to the uh, trailer park here that I live in so he can work on another neighbor's uh, uh, leak that she had underneath her trailer and uh, fix uh, her uh, heat tape but even even after the water came back on the water still was not clear let me show you here Well, this is uh, the water that's coming out of our, the color of our water that's coming out of our spigot now. It's not a clear water like it was before. Before we was getting a clear water. And, I mean, it was a lot clearer than this. I mean, it was clear. I mean, and now it's got this rusty color to it. I did find out that our landlord uh, yeah. had the water shut off. As I as I mentioned, the uh, landlord, you know, son-in-law, actually was the one that did the, uh, he shut the water off. He said he didn't have time to go around telling anybody. So, let me tell you, it was like that for a good while. Usually, when they shut the water off, they tell us, you know, we run it for a little while, it clears up. But this, it did not bounce right back like it normally did in the past. Usually, it would bounce right back and be nice and clear, but it, it stayed dirty for a long time. So, something, something is not right with the water. Whether it's because of the old pipes, you know, full of rust and dirt, or I don't know, you know. Good thing I got Shea Shell water pitcher because that 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 last video is I had the water in a Shea Shell water pitcher to run it through a special filter. That filters 99.999, well, I can't remember how many nines, percent of contamination. It is one of the best water pitchers out there to buy. It's expensive. For this one pitcher, it's like $100. And unless you go to jimbaker.com, you can buy it a lot cheaper. You can buy water bottles with the uh, also this uh, special filter. They are also cheaper than going to Shayshell.com. Well, listen, my battery's dying here, so I gotta call this short. Like I said, this is Evangelist Robert L. McKim Sr. coming to you with some uh, information, and I wanted to also let you know too. Check out. Uh, Paul Be uh, Begley's uh, videos, he has been preaching the truth.